pensioners in River State have appealed to Governor Yesom Wike to approve the payment of the outstanding pension liabilities of 70 billion naira. Governor Yesom Wike on Wednesday said the state spent not less than 1.8 billion naira monthly for pensioners or for pensions pay payments. But it has been revealed that Governor Yesom Wike is owing a lot of pensioners gratuities and monthly pension despite the governor's claim of paying pensioners. A retiree who exited civil service after 35 career years told reporters that on Friday that he had neither received gratuity nor pension since bowing out in September 2020, despite completing biometric documentation. Not even the monthly pension nor the gratuity has been paid me. Besides that, I wasn't even paid my four years arrears as a director. I was still earning deputy director salary from 2016 to 2020 well, until when I left. The retiree who pleaded anonymity for fear of retribution lamented that it is unfair. Reports had revealed in September that Mr. Wike, the governor of River State, ignored pensioners despite appeals to pay their pension and gratuities, preferring to splash state resources on exotic car gifts on state judges and lawmakers. Each of the cars was said to have worth 50 million naira, according to news reports. In an open letter to the state governor, the Nigerian Union of Pensioners urged Governor Wike to consider their predicament and listen to their demands. The letter jointly signed by the chairman of the River State Chapter of the Union, Collins Wankwo, and Secretary Joseph Abu said the government should not misconstrue payment of monthly pension to retirees already on payroll to mean all pension liabilities are cleared. The union also stated that the governor has failed to pay gratuities and pension arrears since April 2015 to date. And the 6% review of pension rates with secular number SWL slash S1 zero minus one slash s dot one six four slash two eight nine dated april dated fifth of august twenty ten the union maintained that the river state government is yet to implement the directive of the federal government for states to be responsible for the monthly pension allowance of primary school teachers since the coming of this administration the state equally has not paid debt benefits of diseased pensioners. That in its efforts, that in effect means that the state government is owing the debt and the living, the letter stated. Presently, the state government owes more than 70 billion naira in pension liabilities, the union stated. The pensioners said they are not unaware of the financial burden of the state government because of what they called competing political demands on the state resources, but suggested they would be willing to accept installmental payments. The drugs required by aged pensioners are expensive and can only be bought with money even at government hospitals, they said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular uh, situation and predicament of uh, pensioners in River State?
Well, it is sad and unfortunate that um, uh, Governor Yesom Wike is owing these aged uh, pensioners, despite the resources that is at his disposal. You recall that um, recently the governor donated the sum of 500 million naira to the Sokoto uh, state government to help uh, to contribute to help rebuild the market that was burnt. The question is why is the government of why is the government of River State that is the governor himself Nelson Wiki doling out such huge amount of money as gifts you know to other states when it is owing pensioners in the state that money if given to pensioners would go a long way to address some of these issues not saying that it is entirely bad or wrong to dole out money or to give out money to help other states but the question and the challenge is why is why is it difficult for the government to also pay his pensioners? Because these are people who have given so much to the state government during their lifetime and during their active years in office. But however, it remains to be seen, the governor has not really addressed this issue the way he ought to address it. And this has made uh, people to actually complain and uh, state that it is unfair while they need their finances. And the truth remains that these aged men need this money to take care of themselves. A lot of them are old, a lot of them are sick. They require money to buy their drugs, their medicines. They require money to do a lot of things. And at the age that they are, they shouldn't be denied their funds. The state government, under the leadership of uh, of Wike, will do well to pay the pensioners what is due them, their gratuities. If this money is being paid in installment according to the uh, desire and uh, what they are, the pensioners are agreeing, over the years, over a year or two years, the money will be paid off. Well, it is what it is, guys. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts concerning this particular situation and new story as it were? Be that as it is, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular new story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.